Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. This is Educational Code Forces Round 148 and the problem is contrast value. So let, they are telling that uh, you have a set of integers from A1 to An and uh, they are defining a new term called as contrast value. Contrast value means uh, you are taking uh, subsequent numbers like consecutive numbers A1, A2, A2, A3, A3, A4 like that. You are taking the difference, absolute difference, okay? And summing till An minus 1 to An. That is known as contrast value. And uh, they are also mentioning specifically that if there is only one element in the array, the contrast value is zero. Our job is to generate, uh, is to build an array B such that they give three conditions. One condition is B should not be empty. And uh, B should be a subsequence of A. What does subsequence mean? If you remove uh, certain elements from A and combine all the A other elements together, that is known as subsequence. And then they are telling that the contrast of B is equal to contrast of A. Means what? Uh, you generated a subsequence from A, right? And formed it as B. Now you have to find the contrast of that B. Means B1 minus B2 plus mod plus B2 minus B3 till Bn minus 1 minus Bn. This value and that value should be same. A's, value, A's contrast and B's contrast should be same. They are asking what is the minimum possible size of the array uh, B. So we generated one array right? what is the minimum possible size such that the contrast of B is same as contrast of A. So let's understand this with the help of an example. So let's say this is the uh, example that they gave 1, 3, 3, 7. What is the contrast? How do we find it? That is 1 minus 3 plus this one. That is 3 minus 3 plus this one. 3 minus 3 plus again 3 minus 7. Now how much is 1 minus 3? It is 2, right? So 2 plus these are all zeros plus 3 minus 7 is how much uh, 4 so 6 we got the contrast value of 6 now we need to form a subsequence of a to form as b so let's ideally think like normally if we think what is one thing that we can get here that is b value is uh, we can remove all the zeros right so let's keep back 1 3 7 this may also be I don't know this might work so let's take like 1 minus 3 here then uh, 3 minus 7 here 1 minus 3 is 2 plus 3 minus 7 is 4 this is also 6 so I would say that 3 is the contrast value but ultimately the answer was 2 why 1 3 7 was not only the subsequence 1 and 7 is also a subsequence so you keep 1 minus 7 also that is B value is simply 1 and 7 that is also contrast as 6 so they are asking the minimum value so minimum value here is 1 7 1 3 7 is also true 1 3 3 7 might also be true 1 7 is the minimum value so that is the one thing and 4 2 if two numbers are distinct right it will always be a different number we can't reduce it further and if all numbers are same see 1 1 1 1 everything will be 0 but they specifically told that if we have only one element if only one element is there, the contrast is zero. See, contrast of an array of size one is always equal to zero. So we don't have to consider if we get all zeros or if we have only one element, it is always one. Now, let's see this example. This is might be a good example. 5, 4, 2, 1, 0, 0, 4. So 5, 4, 2, 1, 0, 0, 4. What is the contrast? Let's quickly do it. 5 minus 4 is how much? Uh, 5 minus 4, okay. Let's write like 5 minus 4 plus. 4 minus 2 plus 2 minus 1 plus uh, 1 minus 0 plus 0 minus 0 plus 0 minus 4. What is the contrast? 5 minus 4 is 1 plus 2 plus 1 plus this is 1 plus 0 plus 4. Now you get like 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 is the contrast. Now what could be B? So let's imagine that let me remove zeros. Uh, so 0 can't come but this 0 is affecting right so let's remove one of the zeros here and uh, we let's see the answer we still not sure we don't want to waste time during a contest so let's see they told there are three elements so what can be the three element let's assume let's fix the first one and last one 5 4 so now let's put like one also we can put right we'll just see I don't know now what happens here 5 minus 1 is 4 plus 1 minus 4 is what 3 we are getting only 7 so we'll just randomly try to do it because since 5 is a very big number it might be the case that it might be contributing more so instead of 1 let's put try to put 0 here if we put 0 here what is 5 minus 0 is 5 plus 0 minus 4 is how much 4 9 we got it 
so 504 is might be one of the solution but uh, here we could not find any relatability here we thought uh, if we remove three if we thought we can remove zeros and we got 137 but the question tells that okay you don't even need three here so you can directly do one seven in this case also i removed zeros uh, i tried to find all the possibilities see in case if you are able to generate from a to b all the possible subsequences right there are two per n possibilities the answer will be very simple if it's like eight or nine numbers it's simple but it's like more uh, like i guess it's like 10 power 5 n right you can't uh, generate 2 power 10 power 5 so that is not possible so we need to find a pattern on how we are able to solve this so here if you observe one thing you know uh, there is a form called as delta that is happening so let's say for an example i'm doing 1 3 5 okay what if i say 1 minus 3 minus 5 having the same contrast as 1 minus 5 how do i know that see in order to reach from 1 to 3 it's increasing okay it's increasing in order to reach from 1 to 3 i need to add 2 in order to reach from 3 to 5 again i need to add 2 instead of doing all this i can simply add 4 right okay when does this happen is you are having a constant slope above See, if you are having a constant slope above, that is 1, 2, 7, 10, 100, anything you can take. All the deltas, right? If you add all the deltas, it is same as 1 to 100 only. Or it is same as 1 to 10 to 100 only. It is same as 1 to 7 to 10 to 100 only. So, if everything is having a steep curve, we are pretty sure that there is one element. We can just shrink down to two elements. Does this applicable for the decreasing format? instead of that let me say 5 3 1 does this happen so if the numbers are 5 3 1 does this decrement happen the delta is 2 here and the delta is 2 here see two steps i'm going down two steps i'm going down instead of that i can directly go from 5 to 1 right mod 5 to 1 i can write now so what did we understand we understood that what all things we got gathered if the numbers are same it is zero we are not doing any change because zero doesn't make any sense it will automatically be zero so if it's increasing steeply the first number and last number will take care into account and if it is decreasing from the last number to the first number we'll make sure that those play a very crucial role so if something like this comes five four two one zero zero four what is happening see 5 4 2 1 0 0 and again 4 comes so what did we do the delta of all this added together see this is a delta this is a delta this is a delta this is delta this is delta so the summation of all this delta together is this slope right and this is also having a small delta this small delta let's call it delta dash so this all delta plus this delta whatever is it if it comes here also no problem we'll directly take this one so all this together only the uh, curves we need to find out so if a number is of the format of like uh, this one so in this case you understood right it is 5 minus 0 plus 0 minus 4 so if it is like this 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 something like this we need to make sure this number is captured this number is captured this is captured this is captured how many deviations are there so that's our main aim to count here notice one thing that here this number right this is shared across two numbers so how many will come here in this case let's say this case uh, there is only one delta one is shared right so one two three three was the answer right so here one is definitely there this two is shared among both so only count one time two three four five six and last one is seven see so how do we do it we just have to make sure whenever there is a slope above or whenever there is a slope down uh, whenever there is a change or whenever there is a state change we say that there is uh, that is part of the subarray b now let's see the code to understand it further so what did i do uh, so if it is one we can directly print one and continue the test cases if it is not there then you check that whether the previous element is greater or not why did i keep the state symbol so if i am like one two three four five only on the first one sorry uh so let's keep like five four three two one five greater than four and state is one by default state is something like zero 
state will be one okay now count will be one there was one deviation because five to four is one deviation now again four to three and state is not equal to one no state is already one so i won't go to the loop three two five four three two one it will be straight it won't even go because the state is not changed the state is the same state okay decreasing state so count is one now what if from one again hundred happens one to hundred happens means one is less than hundred right and state is not equal to minus one it's not in decreasing state so i'll count as one more that is five to one i counted one state and from one to hundred the state changes earlier it was one i'll change the state to minus one so uh it will be one here and again it will be uh plus one that is two count will be two again if it decreases it go back here and state so state is a variable that makes sure that for a given slope it comes only one time this count will be added only one time so uh, we are counting two times so five four so for this example right which i told here that is five four two one across this the state will be one and the count will be one now from zero to four it's increasing so the state becomes minus one and the count becomes plus plus that is two but the answer is three why are we getting the answer as three it is because answer we kept as c plus one why did i keep c plus one is we are keeping one here we are counting the deviation and we are changing from here that is c becomes two but there was a starting point right the starting point i did not choose anything i'm start i'm changing the state only when i see a slope or when i see a steep curve okay whenever there is a state change only i am counting it i am not change using the starting point so that's why we kept five and what if everything is equal that also we need one right so that's all about it and uh, i felt that uh, c problem was much more easier than b and uh, that's all guys if you like the video please uh, share your comments and see you in the next video